been looking forward to this all year. I actually purchased eclipse glasses for my astronomy class last spring, so, and you know, they can predict these things years in advance, so this has been on the calendar for a long time. I'm super excited. science teachers have been talking about it. I've heard from teachers of other classes that they've been talking about it with their students too. And we do have um, solar glasses for all of our students and that was coordinated effort by myself and Dr. Alexander so I hope the kids really appreciate it. Yeah, the kids are stoked. This is all we've been learning about the last couple of weeks. Uh, there's kind of an energy in the classroom this morning, especially when everybody realized the weather was going to cooperate. I mean, I was looking at the forecast, you know, a week ago. You know, whenever they published the 10-day forecast, I was looking at it. It was very iffy. The kids are looking at it. Uh, and uh, the closer you get, and the more promising the weather became, uh, you could tell the energy of the kids is, uh, is, is definitely there. I enjoyed it a lot. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, I think the next time is like 2009 something, I don't know. But I'm not gonna ever see it again, so it's pretty dope to see it. Um, yeah, it's definitely very cool to experience. Um, like seeing like how it got like slightly darker and getting to see like the eclipse um, at its peak is really cool. I think it's a wonderful experience that we get to that we all get to see. Uh, there's been a lot of hype and buzz kind of around like, oh, like if it's HF gonna let us do it, I think they'll let us go out and see. Um, but they let us, we had a, we're having a great time right now and I love looking at the sun. Um, I feel like we can win, to be honest with you, because we got a couple buckets in him. Nardo back there, he can shoot a little bit, and then Kendrick over there, he can play a little bit, so I think we're going to win. I really have nothing much to say. I feel like we could have did better, but we'll get y'all next time. You know, maybe next year or something because that was just terrible, honestly. I really think we have a good chance. We got a lot of potential in this class. We got a lot of smart people in here that know calculations, so I think we can make it work. I really do. I have very good faith in this classroom.
class. Not, not terrible. I thought it was gonna be a little worse. We hit 10 shots, so we got double digits. Mr. B came in clutch at the end. So we got, we got a decent chance of coming out. We just gotta see what the opponent's looking like. Welcome everybody to the first ever and newest game show here at VTV. It's called Classic Concentration. It's a, a brand new game. We're going to explain everything. We're going to meet our contestants and we're going to try to give away some money today. Today's game is a little bit different. We have two contestants from VTV who are here to kind of show you how it's played and then get everybody kind of excited about it so that you can sign up to apply to be on the show and we'll get the game rolling next week. So before we get to the rules, let's meet who we have here today. First off, it's Desmond Bynum. Desmond, tell us about yourself. Um, I'm a senior here at HF. You know, I'm in band. I do a lot of things outside of school. I volunteer a lot, and I'm here to win. Okay. Next up, we have Mac Hagemaster. Uh, hi, I'm Mac. Uh, most of you guys know me because I'm a state champ. Uh, shout out basketball. Uh, just looking to repeat as champions here today for VTV. I'm, I'm about to win this. You know, I'm like that. All right, never lets anybody forget that he's a state champion, that's for sure. And he shouldn't, they should be very proud of that. Today, Classic Concentration works like this. Take a look at the board of, of Classic Concentration. There are 20 panels on the board. Each person will get a chance to pick two of them. If those two panels reveal the same matching picture, they get a point. If not, we flip the panels back over and the next person goes. So whoever gets the most matches wins. It's a memory game, you gotta remember where things are. And uh, we'll see who has a better memory today. Is it Desmond or is it Mac? So let's get this game started. Mac, um, you did not win the draw. Desmond did. Desmond, you're going to go first. Tell us the two uh, that you'd like to see. Okay, okay. Um, let's go with three and 13. Three and 13. Okay, those are not a match. Okay, so uh, it goes to Mac. All right, 11 and 18. 11 and 18. Okay, don't go too quick here. Okay, uh, uh, go slow so you know what, what you want to pick. Uh, can I get Desmond? 13 and 11. 13 and 11. And we have our first match. So, Desmond, first on the board. Still yours, Desmond. Uh, can I get 5 and uh, 12? Okay, you can see that is not a match. So we go back over to Mac. Can I get nine? Nine? And 18. Nine and 18, that is a match. Match for Mac, so it's still yours. Uh, can I get 20? 20? And seven. 20 and seven, that is not a match. It goes to Desmond. Uh, can I have seven? And five. Okay, seven and five. And that is correct. So, Desmond, you have another match. Uh, Two to one. <laughs> it's getting good. Uh, can I get 14 and one? 14 and one. Not a match. We go back to Mac. All right, Mac, it's your turn. Can I get 16? 16. And. 17. 16 and 17 is not a match. Goes back to Desmond. Um, can I have 8? And can I have 19? 8 and 19 is not a match. Goes back to Mac. Can I have 3? Three? 3 and 19? 3 and 19 it is. It's all tied up at 2. Still you, Mac. Can I have 14? And 20? 14 and 20. No. 14 and 20 is not a match. So we go back to Desmond. Uh, can I have 10? And 1. 
10 and 1. Also not a match. Back to Mac. Can I have 17? 17. And 10? 17 and 10. It's a match. So Mac takes the lead 3 to 2. Can I have 14? 14. And 6. 14 and 6 is not a match. So Desmond takes control. Uh, can I have a 6? Okay. And 20. 6 and 20. Desmond back in the lead. Three, oh, no, it's tied up. 3 to 3. Excuse me. Can I have 4? Four? 4. And can I have 15? 4 and 15 is not a match. Oh. Back to Matt. Can I have 14? 14. And 4? 14 and 4 is a match. That's your fourth point. Can I have 1? One? 1. And 15? And 15. That is eight? another match. Down to just, just a few tiles left. Can I have 8? And 2? You can. And then 16. And 12. 16 and 12. That's how it's played, my friends. That's how you Mac do it. Mac will take home the victory. That's how you do 7 it. to 3 with that one. And that's, again, just a game to kind of show you how this game of classic concentration is played. Guys, give us uh, your thoughts. What did you think? Mac, uh, you won. What did you think of the game? Uh, you know, I'm just a state champ, so I don't lose. And But the game was fun. It was okay. fun. Liked it. Yeah? Um, It was cool. You're going to see me back on here, though. Um, it's only one game. I'm not too worried. I'm not going to sweat it. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to see me back on here getting dubbed. <laughs> All right. Those two talk it up more trash in, in our classroom than anybody. So it was a good finally see that Mac is a champ over Desmond. We'll see if Desmond gets him next time. But if you want to play this game, Classic Concentration, get onto Google Classroom Announcements today. Sign up, and maybe you can be the next contestant on VTV's Classic Concentration.